everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Victoria's Secret inspired makeup look. Um, you guys all know that I work at Victoria's Secret and I love what I do and I love being able to be inspired by all the different collections that we have and all the beautiful models in our store, on our marketing and everything. So um, I just wanted to recreate this year's fashion show makeup look and I wanted to mention that I am wearing one of the pieces from the fashion show. This is the piece that Alessandra Ambrosio wore in the fashion show and if you haven't already don't forget to hit subscribe down below. I do like posting videos at least once a week and if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up that would be awesome and I will talk to you guys all when the video is over. So to start off, I'm using my e.l.f. hydrating primer all over my face just to get the skin ready for all the makeup that we will be applying. I'm using Benefit High Beam to highlight my face underneath my foundation because the highlight peeks through and then we're going to finish it off with a powder highlight. After applying all of the high beam to the high points of my face, I go in with NYX Illuminator mixed in with my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Barcelona. And then I just run that on my skin with my fingers because I find that the warmth of my fingertips helps the two um, products melt together. And um, then I go in with my Beauty Blender and I've been obsessed with my new Beauty Blender. It's just the best thing in the world. I know everybody raves about it, but seriously spend the money, it's worth it. Um, so I'm just tapping that um, all over my face, just hitting all of the areas that I want glow, which is more the middle of my face um, and my forehead rather than like the back of my face because we will be contouring a little bit and bronzing up the skin. Next, I'm going in with my cream contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills, warming it up on the back of my hand, and then going into the sides of my cheeks with my fingers in a circular motion towards the cheekbone, like the part where you smile, um, and I'm kind of curving it up if you can tell right here, just because I felt like it gives more of a youthful look and a sweeter look rather than having that stark Angelina Jolie look, um, if you know what I mean. And then I'm contouring my, my nose, just the bottom, and then underneath my lip to give me that perfect pout. Then I'm going in with my Beauty Blender um, just to blend out that line because you don't want any like darkness or any harsh lines. This is a really youthful and fresh faced look so just make sure you're blending it out. If you are using a brush then I'd make sure that you um, just don't let the brush dry out your skin. Then I go in with my LA Colors Cream Contouring Tube brush thing, um, contouring my nose and my eyelids um, because most of the girls had pretty deep set eyelids so I wanted to make sure I got that carved out and then my yellow correcting concealer and then I just used a beauty blender but I don't know where the clip went so we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm going in with my MAC Shea Chic palette and I'm using that warm shade to just give me a transition, a warmth to my eyes. You guys know that I did contour my eyelid so um, having that dark color underneath the skin and then putting this eyeshadow on top just gave me that extra depth. Then I'm going in with that yellowy bone shadow all over the eyelid and then I'm going in with MAC Soft and Gentle into my brow bone as well as the inner tear duct later on in the video and then I'm running it down the bridge of my nose and then I'm using ELF's duo bronzing and blush palette and I'm using that blush because it had a lot of gold reflex in it so it gave me that extra warmth and that highlighted look and then I'm going to go into my Naked 2 Basics palette that middle shade there is just giving me extra extra depth into my eyelid I noticed that most of the girls had some sort of a grayish tone to their eyeshadow um, it wasn't really like brown and had that yellow base it was more blue um, so I used that kind of grayish tone and then I ran this color underneath my lower lash line because most of the girls didn't use a pencil liner or anything like that. It was just more eyeshadow. Um, and then I'm going in with a pencil liner to draw out my wing because I felt like they didn't use gel or liquid. I really saw it smudged out and just kind of more of a natural effortless look. Then I'm going into my brows. It's easy to get carried away with lashes, which they did not do. Um, but I'm going to go in with my brows and I decide to try to stick them straight up or comb them out at least like that picture. Um, and then I'm going to go in with mascara. Um, and then this is what the photo looks like afterward for my eye makeup.
And then for my lips today, I'm using NYX Natural Lip Pencil, and I did overdraw a little bit tiny bit and then I'm taking this Maybelline lipstick I don't remember the name but I'll leave it down below and then I am going in with peekaboo by Victoria's Secret it's my favorite nude lip gloss it's got glitter bits in it so um, it definitely reflects all the light and now here's all the posing that I did for this makeup look but I hope you guys enjoyed it Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me recreate the 2016 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show makeup look. I will leave all the products that I used down below as well as the websites where I got the pictures in my cutaways and everything. Just so you have reference if you want to recreate this makeup look as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed my take on the Victoria's Secret look. I know a lot of people tend to like get carried away with thinking that like big eyelashes and contouring and all that crazy like you know bold bold glamour makeup um but as i was researching for this look i realized like they don't even do eyelashes i mean maybe certain years they do but this year it was just mascara and barely any like eyelid makeup you know i definitely felt like this is an easier makeup look for people who are just starting off with makeup or even like an everyday kind of look because it's really really easy um, but it's really fresh faced and i really like it super youthful so but before I go, I wanted to remind you all of one thing that's really important to me and something that I wanted to make sure that I mentioned on my channel. Um, and that's that at the end of the day, our makeup comes off, our eyelashes come off, and we're left with who we are. And I think that it's easy to get caught up in the um, power of makeup. Like, don't get me wrong, I love makeup and I love what it can make me feel and um, what it can enhance as well. But I wanted to just remind you guys that you are beautiful for who you are and um, if nobody thinks so, I think so. And I know that if I think so, somebody else thinks so. So um, yeah, that's kind of like what I wanted to say. It was hard for me to find the words to say it, but I did now. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, just watching this whole video and yeah with that I will end this video I hope you guys enjoyed watching it like I said don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in the next video bye